It's a new year. That means new gear. Unboxing the tree. Welcome back to Ames Logs It. My name is Amy Sung. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit that subscribe button. So, I have something that just came and I'm really, really excited about it. It is my dream camera. So what is it? Well, let's open it up and take a look. We'll show you guys same time that I get to see. All right. Let's first take it out of the box. I can get it out of the box. So if you guys saw my short yesterday, I ordered something that came before this came and it's actually for this. So what is it? Well, it comes in gray box and there we go. It is the Leica Q2 Reporter Edition. And I went for the Reporter Edition mainly because, um, well, one, I really, really like the green that's on it. And two, it doesn't have the Leica logo on it, so it's gonna make it a little less theftable, if you will. Great presentation, by the way. All right, so it comes in black box and it is magnetic. It's actually really, really nice. Let's open it up and see what we have. In the top, you have a gray box, which the camera comes in. I've watched enough of these videos to know how it actually comes. So then you have like this little shelf system here. Kind of just pull on them and they come out. So I already know that is the documentation and here's the accessories. But let's open up the box. Nice. All right. I've heard that the lens cap that comes with it on this camera is total garbage. So that's why I picked up the thumbs up lens cap that you saw yesterday. Actually, I have it right here. Thumbs up. So this is actually this box is really nice as well. This is specifically made for this camera and it's rubber it comes with this which probably just gonna take off but let's see how it actually fits on the camera so the one that comes on the Leica is metal and it actually stayed on really nice but I guess over time they just wear and there's nice velvet in there and if you can see the nice Leica logo but this one Kind of just push on and it stays there. I'm gonna take this red string off though. So yeah, that is the Leica Q2 Reporter Edition. No battery yet. I gotta get the battery out. But let's go through this first. So the top is the camera. We'll skip right to the bottom here, and and it's really nice. Everything comes packaged in these little Leica bags. So I already know this is the adapter ring, which I don't really know what it's for. Here's the metal strap. The strap is heavy. Okay, here we have the... Oh, man. This is the battery charger, but they really tie these baggies up, huh? All right, so this will take me a few minutes to actually get into. I didn't realize that the baggies come tied up like that. So here we have the battery charger. Then we have the battery. And yes, each baggie is 
tied up. But I gotta tell you, you pay for the presentation too because this is some nice presentation. Nicest camera opening I've ever done. So here is the Leica battery. These are $285. So do not lose them. I'm sure it doesn't come fully charged, but all you do is you slide it in and push. How satisfying is that? And at the bottom here, you can see there's like a little lever to take it out. You just pull it, it pops, and then you push one more time and it comes out. So I will have to actually charge that up. So let's see. Snaps in there really nice. And then, oh no, this, I'm sorry, this is the camera strap. This must be, which what I thought was the camera strap must be the actual charging cord, the uh, adapter that plugs into the uh, battery pack there, it is. I did order a B&W, um, the MRC0010 Pro, I believe, um, filter for the camera, just so it, oh, this is the, it actually comes with the international charger as well. So I'm not gonna need that, but I did order that as well, just to protect lens because it's a fixed lens and something happens to it you gotta send it back to Leica to repair and I'm sure that's not cheap so instead you just gotta protect your investment you know spend 50 bucks to protect your pretty much seven thousand dollar lens actually let's open up the camera strap too and just see what it's like. Because I saw these camera straps go for quite a bit online as well. So it's a nice leather strap. There's a little like the logo in the middle there. It's lightweight. I might put the Peak Design um, clips on the side here and try it out. Or maybe not. I have the Peak Design um, sling, or, or what's, what is it, the slide light. And I think I might actually just use that because I bought that quite a while ago and I never ended up using it. So it kind of just went to waste. But I think I might use it for this camera because it's not going to be, so this can't, you might wonder, why did I purchase a Leica? Well, number one, it's my dream camera, this one here. I mean, this is pretty magnificent looking. And yeah, it fits in my hand really well. It's got like this nice matte finish and this black area here on the front, it almost feels like it's a cloth material. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so back to it. Why would I buy a Leica? Well, the Q2 here is my dream camera. It's not going to be my everyday workhorse. I have my Sony a7 IV for that. But this one is small enough, light enough, that I think I'm gonna bring it with me just as my everyday carry. Pretty much everywhere I go, I'm just gonna bring it so I can always capture photos, never miss anything. Who doesn't want that Leica look? This is my first and probably only Leica that I'll ever get. So I am gonna take really good care of it. I don't know, I'm really, really excited to start using it. See what kind of took the red cord off. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I know there's tons of videos out there on the specs, reviews. This is just an unboxing. It's unboxing my dream camera, but I will say, I'm going to take it out in the field and do some comparisons with my Sony a7 IV because that is my workhorse. Just to see, because that's a really, that's a phenomenal camera. I just want to see what the image quality difference actually is. They say Leica is more true to the color. 
like the natural color of what you see. Stay tuned for some follow-up videos on that. I will be sure to take it out into the field, do some comparisons, bring it into Lightroom, and show you guys if you're interested. Hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps my channel out. And I have to say, my channel, I, I am so grateful and thankful to you guys. I started this year off in the low 80s. I'm now at 111 subscribers. So thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want, follow me on Instagram. I post daily there as well as on Vero. Yeah, so stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys. Thank you.